Hi everyone, welcome to Marika Creations. Today I will share with you three DIYs. I'm making signs today. I'm so excited and I hope you will enjoy this. So let's jump right into it. For my first sign, I found this poster online that I thought it was perfect to put on the wall in our gym. So I'm taking a pretty large canvas and I'm starting by just putting on the base coat. Pretty much like the poster, you see I have it there right next to me. I don't want to make an identical one, I want to make yeah, my version of it, sort of. But I liked the vintage look of it. So that's what I'm going for here as well. The base coat is on. And then now I want to go a little further around the edges with a little more yellow tone. I'm just dabbing with my paintbrush and then dry brushing with a big brush and I'm working my way all over the canvas just dabbing and dry brushing yeah think of it like you do the, the galvanized uh, look you're dabbing and you're brushing and uh, just blend it together a bit so now I'm on the edges again and now with a sponge so with the um, brown tones and yellow tones just around the edges of the canvas and then I'm going with black as well just with a sponge and the edges I will turn black as well. I'm finished with the background and working on the shadows just under the dumbbells and then I will start sketching up the dumbbells and work on them. This video is part of the Sign Me Up collaboration hosted by Chantelle at Crafty Hints and her co-hosts Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIY and Amanda at Six Kids and a Glue Gun. If you're not familiar with these ladies and their channels, be sure to jump on over and check them out right after this video. I will leave links down in my description to their channels along with a link to the playlist of this collaboration. So you can get loads of sign inspiration. So now I have the shape of my dumbbells and I'm working on the shading, looking at my poster and try to figure out where to put all the different shades. As I said, I will put this sign in our gym. We got our gym ready about a year ago. I will show you right after I finish this painting how the space looked before and how it looks now and with this beautiful sign on the wall. On the bottom there I will put the same text as on the poster or part of it anyways so it will say no excuses on the top of the painting I will put our names my husband and I and it looks a bit confusing here, but I will show you. My husband's name is Yalmar and my name is Marika. And you can merge them like you see here. And it becomes Yalmarika. 
So that's perfect for this sign. And underneath our names, it will say fitness. Yalmarika Fitness. I will put some black acrylic as shadows on my letters to make them pop a bit more. I didn't say at the beginning, but I'm only using acrylic paint for this painting, this sign. Final touch, some white highlights, reflections on my dumbbells. And I will just sign my painting and hang it up. So here you can see the space before we turned it into a gym. It's part of our outbuildings, not insulated, no heating. Now in January it has been around 3 degrees Celsius in the mornings. It keeps you motivated to move for sure. So this is how it looks now. Perfect space for a good workout. And there you can see my painting as well. Go a little closer. Some powerful affirmations on our blackboard. I am strong, I am healthy, I am powerful. So this is the place I go every other day to keep my sanity and uh, my health intact. So tell me, what do you think of the sign? For my second DIY, I have these signs that I purchased for one euro each. I will just use one and I will start off by taking off that paper sheet that is on top and it was quite difficult. I have to really tear and uh, scrub and sand but finally i got it off and now i'm mixing some acrylic paint i have black gold brown and white and i got a sort of a beige tone and i'm putting on two coats on my sign here let it dry in between the coats one of our sons and family are about to move and this sign is for their entryway a welcome sign so after everything has dried i'm taking this ruler and make like um, a shiplap uh, using the ruler as in the size of my wood boards and just marking it with the pencil And now I'm working on wood grains. So I'm taking a tone a little darker than the background. Very light on my hand with a thin paintbrush, just making sort of an impression that it's wood. And once I am happy with the result, it's time to accentuate the wood boards. And I do that with a black acrylic, fairly thin in between. And I'm taking a dry brush just to tone it down a little bit. If you're new to my channel, hi, I am Marika. And on this channel, I do lots of DIYs, thrift flips, Trash to treasure, renovation of my home, some pottery, some painting, anything creative really. Please join me, hit that subscribe button 
and the notification bell and let's be friends. So this is how it looks and I'm taking some more black acrylic on the bottom there just to round the wood boards a bit and on the edges as well. Time for the text and I have just printed from my computer the words that I'm going to use and I've cut them out and placed them where I want them and I will now take a piece of carbon paper and trace them onto my my sign just put it on like that hold it steady and trace the letters I have traced them all, can't see it I guess, I can see it though so that's good and now I am taking a sharpie, um, flat one calligraphy sharpie, a black one and I'm just following the traced letters. The sign will be in French because uh, they live in France and they are French. So, bienvenue, welcome, chez, tu, and their names, Brandon, Marion, Ivana and Olivia. Now I'm going over the letters once more to make them a little thicker, a little bolder. Last touch is to dry brush the edges with a black acrylic to make it even more worn looking. And here it is, ready for delivery. Bienvenue chez Brandon, Marion, Ivana et Olivia. And I did place a little heart there as well. Cute. Tell me what you think. My final DIY sign is going to be very rustic. I will use this branch that I found in the woods. It's all dried up and perfect and I will make a frame out of that one and I will use something to make a heart of. But this one is too thick, the other one might work. So I'm taking just a piece of paper Draw half a heart like that and voila, you have a heart. And I'm going to trace that heart onto my piece of scrap wood. Like so. And then I'm going to take my jigsaw and cut it out. But when I did that, it broke. So I can't use it for this project, maybe for another project but I took a piece of our floorboard very sturdy and cut out the same shape and now I'm just sanding off the edges to make it nice and smooth I'm 
my branch was thin enough so I could break it into the sizes that I wanted so that I would have these rough edges. So I would place them shape of a rectangle and take some jute twine and just uh, tie the pieces together like you see me do here, one corner at a time. Here I am attaching some nautical rope on the edge of my heart to get a nice finish just with some hot glue all the way around. Take some more nautical rope, untangle the ends like that, two on each side and put it all over the branch and tie it together underneath the branch with the help of some jute twine. And I do the same on the other side to create a hanger. To be able to attach the heart onto my frame, I will make holes, one on the bottom and one on the top. I did make them slightly bigger than that, but before I attach it, I will write something on the heart. And I'm just taking a pencil to make sure I have the spacing okay before I take my calligraphy sharpie and start writing. And the text on this heart will be Angels do exist. Continuing with you are one of them. I'm tying my heart onto the frame just with the help of some jute twine through the hole that I just drilled and around the branch. One on the top and one on the bottom. Secure the knot with a bit of hot glue. If you like this video and videos like this, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, of course, to help and support my channel. And a white feather as a final touch. And here it is, hanging on my door in my entryway looking very rustic I think I love rustic so tell me what do you think of my creations today did you have a favorite sign let me know in the comments remember the playlist to this collaboration you find it in my description box just click and enjoy thank you so very much for watching See you soon again in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye.